we're going to show you how to make a cartouche with Egyptian hieroglyphics on a paver. Right here I have Egyptian hieroglyphics and a cartouche is your name or a nameplate with your name or your initials. These are my my name right here and if you look you can look on the internet and pick up different alphabets for the Egyptian hieroglyphics. I try to pick ones that are a little easier to do. Um, the first letter of my name is R, so I'm going to draw it with a pencil. You can use a pencil or you can use a piece of chalk, whatever works better for you. I think I'll use chalk. And it's a mouth for R. The U is a chick. It's supposed to be a uh, quail chick. So I'm just going to draw my little birdie here. Little beak. And then the TH is a rope. And I'm just going to make it like that for now. Now when you're doing a cartouche you always have to include the rope of eternity because the rope of eternity means you will live forever. And without it, you will not. And in the Egyptian, ancient Egyptian world, if your name was written without the rope of eternity, that means they didn't want you to live forever. And that was a major insult. So my rope of eternity is going to be right there. And I'm just using oil pastels. The colors that the Egyptian used were red, yellow, blue, uh, this is the kind of yellow, uh, black and white, and they're made from natural pigments. So I'm going to make my rope of eternity gold, with this yellow gold. And if you have some pavers sitting around and you want to decorate them up with your Egyptian hieroglyphics, you can just grab some oil pastels and color away. These oil pastels will resist water, so you can put these outside. Okay, I think I'll make my little uh, rope green this time. And you can press pretty hard with the oil pastels. If you want to do a background on them, you could do a background as well. Let me do some more details on my rope. Maybe outline just a little. The chalk will wash off with a little bit of water. Okay, I think I'll make my little chick. Maybe I'll make him red. Maybe I'll make him blue this time. They don't have to be realistic. And we just color them in. I think this little beak can be yellow. And I'm going to add a few details with some black. And they're, they're really uh, very simple drawings because they're, they're your uh, original emojis. They stand for words, letters, and even sounds in the ancient Egyptian language. And I think I'll make my lips red because that makes sense to me. And just color them in. Like I said, you can keep working into that paver and make it more solid. And I think a black outline really helps these to stand out. And when you get all finished, you can spray it with some clear acrylic spray and that makes it kind of shiny. I, this one's already been sprayed over here 
and you can see I have more more details to do. I'm going to do my rope of eternity. And usually these are kind of oval shaped, but they don't have to be. They're kind of rounded rectangles more than anything. You put some little lines to look like a rope. I might even get a little colorful and throw some blue in there. Because I'm not an ancient Egyptian, so I can kind of be more creative. Because the, the cartouches were not an art form. They were a form of writing. And so creativity was not really their goal. Okay, well, and that's how you make a cartouche on a brick paver. Use a little oil pastel and some uh, pencil or chalk, and you can have a lovely little paver for your garden. Thank you for joining us. I hope you come back and join us again sometime soon. Bye now.